A main custody agreement is a document that outlines precisely how two parents will share responsibility for and access to their child upon the dissolution of their relationship. The agreement covers such matters as the child's residence, medical care, and schooling. In this video, we'll cover how to get custody in Maine, what factors Maine courts consider in making custody-related determinations, what a parenting plan is, and how to create your own parenting plan. We're eForms and we're here to walk you through custody and other complicated legal proceedings. Make sure to click the link below so you can get a head start on your custody case today. Let's talk about how to get custody in Maine. If you and your child's other parent are married, then custody will be handled as part of the divorce. All you have to do is file a form known as a complaint for divorce. If you're not married, you'll have to file a form called Determination of Parentage, Parental Rights and Responsibilities and Child Support. And whether you're married or not, you'll have to file the following forms social security number, confidential disclosure, child support affidavit, and two copies of the acknowledgement of receipt of summons and complaint or post-judgment motion. File these in the family court nearest to where the child lives. The party that files the papers is responsible for properly serving copies of those papers on the other party. This can be done in person, by certified mail, or by professional courier. The court will require proof that the papers were served. This can be provided through the filing of a form known as an acknowledgement. Once this has been filed, the clerk will set a hearing date. At this point, it's recommended that you and your child's other parent try to work out the terms of your own parenting plan. Then bring this to the hearing. What is a parenting plan? A parenting plan lays out the terms of a co-parenting arrangement. If two parents can agree on their plan, then the court will generally approve it unless there is substantial evidence that it should not be approved. If you can't agree, the court offers mediation services to help you reach a compromise. And if you still can't agree after hearing mediation, the judge will decide on the logistics of your arrangement for you. In making these decisions, the judge will consider the following factors among others. The age of the child, the relationship of the child with the child's parents and any other persons who may significantly affect the child's welfare, the preference of the child if old enough to express a meaningful preference, the duration and adequacy of the child's current living arrangements and the desirability of maintaining continuity, the stability of any proposed living arrangements for the child, the motivation of the parties involved and their capacities to give the child love, affection and guidance, the child's adjustment to the child's present home, school and community, the capacity of each parent to allow and encourage frequent and continuing contact between the child and the other parent, including physical access the capacity of each parent to cooperate or to learn to cooperate in child care, methods for assisting parental cooperation and resolving disputes, the effect of the child if one parent has sole authority over the child's upbringing, the existence of domestic abuse between parents in the past or currently, the existence of any history of child abuse by a parent, and all other factors having a reasonable bearing on the physical and psychological well-being of the child. In order to modify a custody order, you'll have to file the following forms. Family and Probate Matter Summary Sheet, Social Security Number Confidential Disclosure Form, Motion to Modify, and two copies of Acknowledgement of Service. Don't forget to click the link below so you can start thinking about a parenting plan that works for you. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one that make legal matters seem a lot less complicated.